In previous class, we have learnt helping verbs. Is, am, are. Today, we are going to learn about has and have. Did you remember what are helping verbs, children? The words which help to link the sentence are called helping verbs. Look at here, children. Reach a, a balloon. Is there any link in the sentence? Is it a sentence? No. We need to add a helping verb to link the sentence. Rita has a balloon. We use has here because the balloon belongs to Rita. Let's see few more examples children. The bird has two wings. Here we use has because the wings belongs to the bird. It has feathers also. Children, we use has for singular nouns and singular pronouns. Singular pronouns are nothing but he, she and it. Has is used for singular nouns. He, she, it. Look at here children. Ritu and Preeti many books in their shelf. Is there any link in the sentence? No. We need to add a helping verb to link the sentence. Have. We use have because Ritu and Preeti more than one person. So we use have in this sentence. Let's see a few more examples children. Lions have sharp teeth. We are talking about many lions, not one lion, many lions. Giraffes have long neck. We are talking about many giraffes. Let's see few more examples, children. They have a nice car. They in the sense, we are talking about more than one person. So, have is used with plural nouns as well as plural pronouns. But I want to add a point here, children. Have is always used with I and you also. Remember that children. Let's see some examples. I have a chalk. You have a nice car. So, we can use have for plural nouns. They, we, you and I. That's all children. Stay home. Stay safe. Bye children.